How to program Source Select on a Symmetrix ARC 2E wall panel remote using Simnet Composer software. Simnet Composer Open Architecture software makes adding Source Select to an ARC 2E quick and easy. Source selection is typically provided by using an input selector module. Simply open any Simnet Composer software site file design. Double click on the preferred DSP to open its design view. Open an input selector module's user interface by double-clicking on the module icon. In order for the input source names to import automatically in the ARC2E wall panel remote menu, the input selector module should have all sources labeled prior to the controller number assignment. Right-click the selection fader at the bottom of the module and choose Setup Remote Control. When the Setup Remote Control window opens, Use the Remote Control Device drop-down to select Add New Hardware. The Add New RS-485 Remote Control window will open. Select ARC-2E in the Device Type drop-down. Change the RS-485 address if desired. Then click OK. The Setup Remote Control window should now indicate the Remote Control Device is an ARC-2E. Click OK again to close this window. Now the input selector's selection fader has been added to the ARC-2E wall panel remote, but in some cases, the ARC-2E menu will need to be edited. Go to Tools, Remote Control Manager. In the bottom RS-485 remote control window, expand the created ARC-2E by hitting the plus symbol. Click on the created input control and hit the edit button. The edit ARC-2E window will open. Change the menu name field to the desired label the end user will see on the LCD display of the ARC-2E wall panel remote. This example uses Lobby Source Select. Additionally, since the input source labels must be 8 characters or less, they may need to be edited or renamed. Simply click on a source in the enumerated menu, Menu Item List, and edit the 8 character label in the field below entitled Item Name. When completed, Hit the Save Menu button. Notice the menu item in the ARC-2E menu tree now displays the edited names. It should be noted that while Composer software allows populating the ARC-2E wall panel from the DSP module's user interface, as the example has just demonstrated, an alternative method of assigning controller numbers first and then populating the ARC-2E is also supported in the software. In the following example, a controller number is assigned using the Auto Assign Next controller number to an input selector's selection fader. Then, in the Remote Control Manager found under the Tools drop-down, this controller assignment will be listed in the top window entitled Controller Number Assignments. To add this control to an ARC-2E wall panel remote, simply click on the ARC-2E of choice in the bottom window. Then click on the selection fader in the top window and hit the Remote Control button. If this step is followed correctly, the selected ARC-2E should automatically be selected in the Remote Control Device drop-down on the Setup Remote Control window. Simply click OK. Now the selection fader has been added to the ARC-2E, but as in the previous method, the ARC-2E menu will most likely need to be edited. Click on the created input control in the ARC-2E and hit the Edit button. The ARC-2E window will open. Change the Menu Name field to the desired label the end user will see on the LCD display on the ARC-2E. This example uses Dining Room Source. Edit or rename the input sources if necessary using 8 characters or less. When completed, hit the Save Menu button. Have questions? Email our technical sales and support staff for assistance with troubleshooting, design reviews, commissioning, and warranty support directly at support at symmetrics.co. More information on Symmetrics' complete line of DSP solutions can be found at symmetrics.co.